Welcome to the Kanaloa Octopus Farm! Whoa! Oh, did you see it change color? Today we're here in Kona, Hawaii on the Big Island and we're going to tour an octopus research center. So the whole goal of this research facility is to try and breed this particular type of octopus, the day octopus, and get them to be able to survive in the wild. So they breed the octopus, they raise the babies, and then at 30 days, they're allowed to release them back into the wild. Now the problem is that because we don't know a whole lot about the day octopus or what they eat, they haven't been able to keep these octopus babies alive for more than 13 days. Every year they're making a little bit more progress and as part of their mission here to inspire and educate the public, they let us come and play with the octopus. So that is what we're going to do today. This area we're in is called Melha, Natural Energy Lab of the Hawaii Authority. Back in the 70s, the scientists and engineer got together and they wanted to use the differential in the water temperature in the sea to create energy. So because we have these great, really steep cliffs off our coast being the newest inhabited Hawaiian island, they decided to come here to the westernmost point of the island and put the pipes out there. But the problem was they were using di diesel. So once the cost of diesel began to rise, so did the cost of making that energy and it no longer was cost effective. Luckily for us, the state of Hawaii took over those pipe systems and they let us and a bunch of people from here to the highway all use it for aquaculture purposes. Luckily we got these really cool pipes that kind of give us magical powers over here. We don't have to add any salt, we don't have to make sure all our ratios are perfect, we just turn on a tap and then all of our animals have really healthy seawater right from the source. The octopus we're going to be hanging out with today are called day octopuses. It's spelled D-A-Y. Does anyone know why? They hang out during the day, yeah. That's one of the major reasons we like them because we can study them during the day both here and in the ocean. But our friends over here are going to be about seven to eight pounds. On average, that's about the average weight of these octopuses in captivity or out in the wild. These guys are really great for us to do our studies with because we're trying to complete that circle of life. We have successfully had mating and we've hatched the eggs. But the thing we're trying to work on right now is we can only get to day 13. We're trying to get to day 30, three zero. The problem we're running into is that we can't see these out in the ocean, so we don't know what they eat. We just have to make scientific guesses. The first 30 days of their life, they just kind of bump up against things and eat them. They have kind of a low survival rate out there, so we want to get them to that 30 days where we can kind of plump them up and get them super healthy. And that way they'll be heavy enough to get to the bottom of the sea floor and start scavenging around for food on their own. All the octopuses we have here are about six to 12 months old, with the average lifespan being about 12 months, one year for these guys. We're going to wash our hands. So nothing that's on our hands that our skin can handle gets on the octopuses because their skin is more sensitive than ours. So this one, Eleanor? See, they don't have a name for it because it's only been here for three days. Where is he? He's probably hiding in his cave. They're pretty shy, right? Yeah. But if you put your hand in and make a little bit of toys. 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 So these are toys that they put in with the octopus because they're very curious and they want to play. That one's right there. You want to try that one? Oh, how about that one? Come here, Daddy. Yeah, little guy. Come here, octopus. This is a girl. Her name is Elvira. Elvira! Oh my. Whoa! Whoa! Do you see it change color? If you haven't seen the octopus in your tank yet, you're probably looking out and you're in their cave with an eyeball. It has two horizontal pupils that can see in about 180 degrees, a little more than that. They can see in color and they can, they are near sight. Oh yeah, fine. Oh, do you see our squirt water? Hila, that's a male. Oh, here you go. Did you remember which part not to touch? That part, that part, and that part. Why? What are those parts called? The mantle, brain, and eye. Yeah, those are sensitive, so we don't want to touch their mantle, brain, or eye. 
He's sucking on to me. Oh. <laughs> oh. That's what I wanted it. Oh, it's like cruising right now. Whoa. Can I hold the yeah. toy? It's amazing how fast they can move, really. Yeah, how fast they can move and how easily they can let go of their suction cups. Because he was like really on me and then he was gone. Oh, oh he's trying to like pull it. He's going away with it. Oh, octopus actually have three hearts, which is crazy. So these are octopus eggs. They look so crazy. These day octopuses can lay up to 700,000 eggs, which is quite a, quite a bit for any animal. They will only lay eggs one time in their lifetime, and whether or not those eggs are fertilized, they still are going to lay those eggs. Hope you enjoyed this video. Bye! And we are going to tour the cephalopod octa something or another. What was the octa thing? Aquaponics. Aquaponics, okay. And we're going to tour the cephalopod Cephalopodic or ceph cephalopod? Cephalopod, okay. And we're going to tour the cephalopod aquaponic. Oh, <laughs> I can't say that. <laughs> I have a joke for you about an octopus. What's the octopus's favorite shape? An octagon. It's a great face. <laughs>